Welcome once again to Cooking the Rounds channel. Welcome, welcome for today. A great recipe. What is it? Sausage and potato soup. Really hearty, nutritious, and it will fill you up. Just take a look at this. Now, I'm using sausage here. What kind am I using? I'm using Polish sausage. But you can use any type of sausage you want. Farmer's sausage, uh, even chorizo. You know, you have to make it your way. It's what you like. But you know, when the sauces releases its juices into the broth, into the soup, trust me, it's really out of this world. So, let's get going. Okay, here we go. Grab a medium pot and add about one tablespoon of olive oil. And now let's get it on medium heat and let's add one medium chopped diced onion and let's stir and sweat this a little bit and now we're going to add uh, three to four cloves of garlic and I have sliced them I did not mince them and for that smoothness I'm adding one tablespoon of unsalted butter and let's move that around and get that incorporated into the onions and now the ressence of the ressence, one pound of smoked Polish sausage. And this is going to give it that awesome out of this world flavor. Now add some fresh ground pepper, add as much as you want. Now as for salt, I'm only going to add it in the end because I want you to remember the sausage does have salt. So keeping the heat on medium, let's now just stir it around. And to give it that rich taste, I'm adding one tablespoon of tomato paste. Now, the trick here is I want you to move it around and I want you to fry the tomato paste. Now, for further nutrition, I want you to add one stalk of celery and I want you to slice it basically like this. Okay, now let's add some water to blend this together. So I'm adding here about three cups of water. Please don't add any more at this time. Now increase the heat to high and here I'm adding one and a half low sodium beef cubes. But you can add veggie or chicken if you would like. Now add one large potato peeled and diced. The size depends on you. Add one medium carrot peeled and sliced. Now add one can or one cup of corn. Now let's stir this a little bit and wait for the temperature to come up a little bit more. Okay, the temperature is up and now I'm adding about two bay leaves. Now to fill you up and make it hearty, I'm adding three cups of shredded cabbage. Just look at this. Now let's add a little bit more water and it should be about an inch above the cabbage line or so. Okay, now bring it up to a boil, bring the heat down to a simmer and let this go covered for about 30 minutes or so. Okay, we're back. Let's take a look at this. Oh, see, it's going really, really nicely. Everything's blending in. All the flavors are intermingling with each other and look at this. Now let's finish it off. Let's add one teaspoon of dried basil. Add one teaspoon of dried oregano. Add two medium tomatoes and please remove the skins. Now this is an option. I'm adding one tablespoon of cornstarch mixed in with a little bit of water. And now bring the heat down and cover it and let this go for another 10 minutes or so. And guess what? We are finished. Okay, it's done. Let me tease you a little bit. I just want to show you how nutritious and awesome this soup is. This is one of my favorites. I make a lot of this, so when I go to work, I take it with me, I heat it up in the micro, and guess what? It will last me practically all day because it's very, very nutritious and filling. So all I can say now is thank you very much for allowing me to share this video. 
Hope to see you again next time. And once again, it's goodbye from Tony and Cooking Around.